Hello guys, my name is Somit and you are watching CTX Cloud Tech videos. So this is the video number 3 in our VAM training series. Today we are going to see how we can load balance our VAM servers on the net scaler. So right now you guys can see that this is my CTX VAM server 02 and this is my VAM server 01. So you guys can see that here is the VAM console. So now the next step is to load balance your VAM servers on the Netscaler so that it can configure in a proper way. So I am going to open my Netscaler here. So my Netscaler is ns.ctxcloud.in. Here I am going to enter my username and password. So which is ns root and then password. So once I will log in into this uh net scaler the next step is go to systems uh, node system go to the traffic management into the load balancing and in the servers so in the servers we are going to add both the our vam servers with the host name and the ip address so here i am going to add this is ctx wemvam svr01 and the IP address of this server is 192.168.1.21. Click on create and you guys can see that it's a green check mark here means the net scaler is able to reach my backend server. The next one is CTX VAM SVR02 and the IP address is 192.168.1.22. So click on create and you guys can see that my next server is also created inside servers and you guys need to go on traffic then load balancing and then servers. So the servers is the actual servers uh, which is uh, hosted on, on your environment. So here you guys need to type the host name of the servers and the IP address. So the next step is to create a server group. So in the server group, uh, we are going to create three server groups here. The first one is, let me show here. The first one is for the administration console. So the administration console work on the port number 8284 and it works on the protocol of ECP. The next one is in VAM agent service. The VAM agent services work on 8286 and it will also work on TCP protocol. The next one is cache data synchronization. So it is all it works on 8288 and the, it is also on TCP protocol. So these three services we are going to create inside this service group. So I'm going to first pick on the first port group, which is 8284. I'm going to copy from here. Now I have to go on service group and I'm going to create a service group here, which is admin hyphen svc hyphen gp group so the protocol is tcp and i am going to click on ok and here i am going to bind the servers click on server based and here i have to select both the web servers here click on ok click on select and here I have to mention the port. So admin admin port is 8284. So click on create, click on OK and click on done. So now my admin service group is created and it's showing enabled and up. The protocol is TCP. The next service group I am going to create for the agent service. So I am going to mention the name is agent, let's say VEM agent, VEM agent underscore SVC underscore GP group. So here I am also going to select the protocol TCP and click on OK. After that, I have again select both the servers because uh, it works on VAM server. So I have selected both the VAM servers here. Click on select 
एंड इट वर्क ऑन द एजेंट सर्विस वर्क ऑन एट टू एट सिक्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू कॉपी फ्रॉम हेयर एट टू एट सिक्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एंटर दिस ऑन माई नेट स्केलर सर्विस ग्रुप सो आई हैव एंटर्ड हेयर क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट click on okay click on done so now you guys can see that my second service group also created for the agent services i am going to save this configuration and the next one is for the caching so caching works on 8 port number 8288 so i am going to name this which is click on add which is c a c h e एस वाई एन सी सिंक हाइफन एस वी सी हाइफन जी पी वर्किंग ग्रुप सो अगेन इट वर्क ऑन पोर्ट नंबर प्रोटोकॉल टी सी पी एंड हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन ओके एंड आई हैव टू सेलेक्ट सर्वर्स एंड बोथ द वेम सर्वर्स हेयर सो नाउ यू गैस कैन सी दैट आई हैव सेलेक्टेड बोथ द वेम सर्वर्स हेयर क्लिक ऑन सेलेक्ट and the port is 8288 so click on create click on okay and click on done so now you guys can see that my all three service groups has been created first one is for the admin and if i you guys will click on this and the servers you guys can see that both the servers are binded here and the port number is 8284 the next one is for the web agent so if you guys click on servers and you guys can see that both the servers with port number 8286 and the next next three third one is for the cache sync if you guys click on server group and you guys can see that 8288 is that port so click on the done so now you guys can see that my all three services has been binded successfully i am going to save this configuration now it's time to create an virtual vip for this uh, this vam servers click on add and here i am going to select admin say vam admin hyphen lb load balancing hyphen vip and the tc it's the protocol tcp uh where is the tcp okay tcp and the ip address i'm going to give 192.168.1.23 and the port number you guys need to select so i have selected for the admin 8284 and click on okay after that you guys need to select the service group so i have selected the service group here for the admin select the admin click on select click on bind click on continue click on done the next is for the vem agent so i am going to give vem agent hyphen lb hyphen vip and the protocol is tcp tcp and the ip address is like same 192.168.1.23 and the port number for the agent is 8286 and click on okay i have to select the service group here so the service group for web agent i am going to select here click on bind click on continue click on done so now you guys can see that my secondary vip has been enabled and it's showing 100% and 100% means the backend configuration is fine and up and running so the third one is for web cache so i am going to give vem c a c h e s y n c hyphen l b hyphen vip again the protocol is tcp 
and the IP address is 192.168.1.23 and the port number is for the sync is 8286 so I am going to select 8286 here click on ok here I have to select the next service group binding A is cache sync I am going to select this click on bind click on continue and click on done so now you guys can see that I have configured all the three services for the web server so now we are going to see how we can connect with these whips so after that you guys need to create an DNS record for this so I am going my AD server and here I am going to create a host a record which is web and ctxcloud.in and the IP address is 192.168.1.23 click on add click on ok click on done so I have to refresh this now I am going to select I am going to select so now you guys can see that earlier I have connected with the direct ctx web server 01 and the secondary is I'm going to disconnect here and earlier I have connected this CTX WEM server 02. So now it's time to connect with the common load balancing whip. So here I'm going to click on connect and here I'm going to select WEM.CTXCloud.in in click on connect and you guys can see that with that vem.ctxcloud.in i have connected my administration console perfectly fine so the same thing i am going to connect from the secondary vem server so click on connect and here i am not giving the host name of this server i am going going giving the central name of the my web administration console so which is vem dot ctx cloud dot in click on connect and here you guys can see that from the secondary server also i have connected the central uh, web url you can say that web dot ctx cloud dot in rather than is connecting individual server so this is how the load balancing of web servers work inside netscaler so i think you guys understand this how we can load balance our web servers uh, on the netscaler and if you guys like my videos so just subscribe my channel and give support to my channel thank you thank you so much guys in our next video we are going to install the web agent on our master image mcs master image and then pvs master image so just stay connected with my channel and subscribe and like my videos so thank you thank you so much guys